What in the world is happening with Pierce County real estate? What's going on in Tacoma? What do you need to know? Let's see if we can make some sense of this crazy, crazy real estate market. You're looking at the supply and demand graph for the last five years in Pierce County. So you can see the blue is the demand. That's how many homes sold in any given month. And the green, which is the number of new listings that came to market that month. So what you're looking at is in every month but last year, in every year but last year, you can see the summer months bring more inventory than demand. Blue, the demand, is fairly steady around 1,500. Okay, the peak is usually around 1,500 a month. That's not surprising. No historic, any activity there in terms of demand. That's really steady demand. The supply has historically been the highs of demand. Uh, excuse me, the highs of supply have been somewhere around 2,000, maybe 2,200 if you look past over the last five years. Except 2020, we never even got past like 1,700 available homes any time in the year, and there have been more. There's been more demand than supply since like November of last year. That makes it super, super tough for buyers. Really great for sellers. Really tough for buyers. So what does that mean to you? Well, what or for the future? What does it mean for the future? Well, for one thing is if the recovery keeps going the way it's going and the markets open up, it's certainly conceivable that we get back to the kind of predictable numbers we were seeing in 20. 16, 17, 18, 19. That is <clears throat> peaks of 2,000, 2,500 maybe homes being sold, listed on the market. If that happens, it's going to take a while for that ex that supply to get used up, but you're going to go from 15 offers on a house to three offers on a house. You're going to go from two weeks of available inventory to maybe two months of available inventory. Still a seller's market. Still hard to buy, but not the kind of ridiculous situation that buyers face today. It's just not predictable that this is going to go on. The Certainly the uh, vaccine rollout is going well. The stimulus bill passed. There should be enough liquidity in the economy to foster whatever people were doing in 2016, 17, 18 around moving, which still was limited, still a seller's market. But it wasn't this kind of craziness. So if you're looking to sell, I would do it now. Why? Because there's no supply. And if you have a house in Pierce County that you could sell, this is the time. Why wait until the summer when everyone else is there? <clears throat> it's going to be more competition. Predictably, more competition. There may be more buyers, but there's going to be proportionally more sellers than buyers. Predictably, if we just get back to whatever normal was over the last five years, that's predictable. If you're looking to buy, I would grab an iced tea and watch the frenzy for a month. I'd wait till through April into May, and then I would get out there and I would start hitting those homes before they started to disappear. So May, June, July should be easier shopping for you than it is today. Now, if your situation is different and you can't sell now or you can't wait to buy, great. Either way you can, it's still going to be a seller's market. It's just not going to be as intense, predictably. Let me know what you think out of seeing these numbers or let me know what your situation is. I'd love to help. Make sure you share this video, like it, subscribe, do all those great social media things, and let me know what I can do for you. Aaron Hendon over at Christine & Company with eXp Realty. Party on, Wayne.